Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Manor Lords in a beautiful, beautiful day here in Glider Cat. <laughs> Let's uh, pick up where we left off. Kind of getting off to a little bit of a slow start, but I think we will, um, it'll pick up. What do we have in place? We've got three houses being built kind of down here where we have our forager huts, and we also have a hunting camp that's still under construction. Uh, the idea being that even though it's taken a long time to get these homes constructed, once they are, maybe we will save um, by having the workers close to the work, their work sites. And we have this other housing set up over here that's yet to be constructed. What I want to do, that's this is near where we're doing some firewood production and our logging camp for building timber. What I want to do... I want to make sure that one of these houses at least gets built sooner. So I'm going to up the priority on these, actually two of these homes to high. And down here, I'm going to put one of these homes on a lower priority. Just so we can get homes established in each of those two areas. Um, the hunter, the hunting camp, hmm. I guess we can leave that as a medium and we'll see what happens. Here's our folks guiding the timber in. We may speed up the clock here. Let's go to four times speed. Okay, looks like we've got a builder now getting ready to build. To hoist this timber our first little house here, a burgage plot. There we go. Like another worker's joining in. Awesome. Yeah, a bunch of people starting to participate. Nice. Kind of worried about that at the end of the last episode. I saw the logs sitting here, but they weren't working. All right. Burgage plots. Homeless will move to the plot. And if the approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Look on the building to check on their... That must be their needs being satisfied. Okay, got it. We get our second home up. Awesome. And let's see. Requirements. Uh, there's no help there. It looks like that link's not implemented yet. They need water and they need church. So they've got water. They don't have a church. We're going to need to build a church. The question is just when. Oh, check it out. Looks like they... Built our hunting camp too. We've got two unassigned families. We need to keep one available for doing the building. Let's get one family starting to work in the hunting camp. That'll get us an additional source of food. I think this first year, we're in May now. Don't think we're gonna do farming this first year, but we'll see, we might, we might, we might. Here comes our hunters. Go back down to single speed and just check out these guys, see what they do. It looks like they're stalking prey here. No hobble. Tomorrow, find you home. He got something. Hard to see in the thick brush here just what exactly was hunted. There we go. Here he goes. <laughs> He's dragging that deer. Why do I have to carry this alone? Let's see that I can't get the camera to stay on him or track him. Doesn't look like I can. Why do I have to carry this alone? He's dragging that back to camp. I'm just kind of curious to see these animations the first time. I'm going to watch them every time. So much attention to detail has been poured into this game. I kind of want to soak it in a little bit. Fresh start for me and me own. I wonder who's floating away today. Hasn't stopped since the morn. I imagine that thing's going to instantly turn into like a side of venison or something. There's no hobble. 
Tomorrow, find a new home. Or town. I wonder who's floating away today. Hasn't stopped since the morn. Oh, here comes the other hunter. Looks like they've got two places to um, cut their deer. is looking more and more like a prepped piece of meat. No oval. Tomorrow, find a new home. Gave the old ox a hand for the month old drag. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. Uh oh, <laughs> what happened over here? We so got a little bit of a bug. All right, all right. So this guy's got his little slab. Yeah, the meat must have just moved over here. Guys, practicing. <laughs> all right. Cool. Let's show here. Two meat and storage. I don't know if we have to cook that or what happens. All right, enough of that. That's pretty sweet. That's up. What about storage? We got the forager hut. These guys are. Their pantry is pretty much loaded up. We got our marketplace. This says stall abandoned. I'm not sure what that's all about. Doll, nothing in there yet. This guy is selling firewood. And it looks like the weather cleared. How about these homes up this way? Did we make any progress? We did. Awesome. We're still moving timber around. We've got two more houses to construct. And we did build a regular storehouse. And I'm not sure that I wouldn't mind up in the priority on now that we've got the houses underway. Let's make that a high. And it looks like these guys are clearing the trees pretty effectively. We might want to think about getting a forester's hut down. Let's do it. Replenish some of the trees in the area. It takes two timber. This will be real close by. It'd be kind of cool if we could nestle that in over here. Let's see, let's see. Might not be able to, uh, we could do it. Do it right over here. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and decide on a spot. There. Boom. It'll do. And then this one, we might want to limit the work area. Can we do that before it's constructed? Not yet. Hey, bring that piece over here. Tree for a forester's hut. Oh. The pantry is storing food and perishable items. Not sure why that would apply to the forester. Woodcutter's Lodge, this guy's doing our firewood for us. Storage is full. Thinking, instead of these guys hauling their firewood all the way down this way, what about putting up like another firewood producer down this way? Be these guys. This only takes one timber, and we can maybe move our workers between these woodcutter lodges. That way they won't have to haul all the firewood. Because I'm envisioning there's going to be a bit of community out this way. 
And these homes will house the workers that kind of work in the industry in this area. Then kind of same thing, you know, back over here where we've got some housing. Let's do that. Let's put another woodcutter over here to make firewood for these guys. And the next thing I want is a place to store food. You can find that. Logistics, granary. I think this is what we need. Workers collect, store, and distribute goods using the pantry. If needed, they will also automatically set up stalls in the marketplace to distribute the stored goods. Storehouse is used for generic storage. Station. Yeah, let's do a granary somewhere. Or if right back here wouldn't be a bad idea. Something like that. Then a road. It'll kind of be food storage for this community. Might want to do another one out this way too. In fact, I should probably speed up time now so building can move along a little faster. We've got basic storage there. Do a granary. Be right behind this guy. That was me hitting the R key by mistake. about you right there and plan for a road kind of coming through this way our little camp um sure careful with that being there eventually these tents are going to disappear as people move into the homes hey check it out resources added to inventory 20 is that to get more population, you need to have enough to empty burgage plots, and your approval needs to be over 50%. Good. New message. Armament delivery. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. You will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other land. Alright, let's form the militia. Um, now, housing, there's some stuff we can do with these guys. Here, constructed backyard extension. Extensions add extra production f functionality to the residential buildings. Let's go for. Goat shed gets us hides. Uh, I think what we should probably do is one of each, right? Let's do a vegetable garden on that guy. And on this one, we'll do the chicken coop. And this guy will go for the leather or the hides. Go shed. So that all needs to be constructed. And when the families aren't busy, I think they work these plots, these extensions. And let's maybe do the same thing over in this community. Now that we got these two houses built, let's move the priority up to this one. Move the priority up to medium for that one. And let's get those same extensions going over here. About vegetable garden for you. You can do the chicken cube. Okay, not enough wealth. Oh, I didn't realize even what the cost was here. Okay, we'll have to wait. Our approval has gone down a little bit. Should bounce up. Um, we're showing five families. No one. There should be no homeless people now in the settlement. Not quite sure how this area works. And 
let's see what's going on in here. Are we storing anything? Generic storage. Okay, 40 out of 250. Okay, that's where they put the weapons that were delivered. So we've got 20 large shields. That's what we saw up the notification notification of kind of what we got for leveling up. There's these shields. And we've got 20 spears as well. Do I need a family to work the storehouse? I don't know. Looks like we could get maybe one more house going over here too. Let's try it. Frontage. The first two points we plop down are going to be the front of the property. So let's go here. Boink and boink. Boink. Another one of these plated for construction. And speed up time again. Boom. We are in June. I might put a high priority on the granary. It looks like they're already kind of going at it here, building this guy. And I want to do the same thing over here. I want to make sure we're in good... We're in a good setup for um, when winter comes. That means food and firewood. You guys. Uh, why are there no families assigned to this? Forager hut. I guess the inventory is full. Maybe I don't need them working there right now. See how our hunters are bearing over here. Oh, check it out. Go slower speed. Got someone hauling meat. Curious to see where that goes. It's good. We don't have the granary yet. Let's see where she takes this. Hoarding meat. Okay, that went straight to the food stall. Then I'm guessing from there it goes into the homes. It looks like we get a, some storage here. I just meet when we got a bunch of stuff sitting here. Pantry. Guessing we should get another home laid out over here too. Thinking we need more people to kind of work these buildings. Marketplace we've got. Well, we've got. Tavern we don't in the church. The church next. So big with this one. Get a swoops. I guess two more. Should we put a church in the center of these two communities and have it serve them both? Uh, we can try it. Let's try it. Carts learning as I go. Pot and church. Not enough goods. We're going to need maybe to get our stone. No, we've got 20 stone. Thanks. That we're missing. Take a look. Stone cutter and mining pit. Forester's hut. Saw pit. This is what we're missing, right? Transform timber into planks. Construction cost two. Let's get that in our kind of wood area. Stop it. I don't think we have one of these established yet. How about right in this little cubby here? That's going to automatically connect to the road for us. And let's put that on a high priority. Did we get our forester hut built yet? Nope, that's over here. Go ahead and... Oh, I'm on double speed. Well, still lower than I want it. This minus five. Okay, recent 30 days. None. Previous minus five. 
Okay. Are you guys unhappy? Got everything. It's beautiful here. This guy's got 50 firewood. I'm gonna take the family off of this. I'd like to put him on the other one if that gets built. I'm soon. I'm gonna maybe put this in a high priority too. Woodcutter's Lodge. And these guys, I'd kind of like to have a general storage available for these guys too. I'm going to build that storehouse. Boom. I don't want the granary to get built first, so we've got that as a high priority. I think these guys set up their own market stalls in our marketplace area here. It looks like there's plenty of room for more stalls. We've got one for food, it looks like. That is a little bit of meat. And we've got one for firewood. And right now that firewood is being hauled a super duper long distance. I'd like to see this guy get built soon. If you have one extra family I could put on something, maybe the gathering of food? That granary's almost done. Let's put these guys on a forager hut. And then it'd be nice if they kept gathering berries. We've got a bunch of them. We're like maxed out. 127 over 128. These guys can harvest their berries, drop them off at the food stall, and drop them off at the granary. That would be nice, so we have a bit of a food supply to make it through the winter. It's like somebody brought some food to their home. Okay, these guys are starting to work their gardens too. Awesome. Hopefully it's not too late. Uh, July, shouldn't be too bad. Ported goods. Not sure what that is. Burgers plant level one. These guys have a vegetable garden. We need that church. We need the sawmill to get built before we can do the church and meet these guys' needs. This one right here looks like it's getting constructed. I might need to take that family off of the gathering hut, put them here. Check it out. This guy's got a, like a basement. No, it should absolutely be placed over there. And that's where all the inner workings of the sawmill are. Nice work. No storage space left at the. Oops. Uh, no storage space left for production at the hunting camp. And the granary to get done. So these guys don't have any room. Eric storage. Oh, what is that? Hides? Yeah, I see. That person's got. Go slow here so we can see. Transporting hides. Where is she going to take the hides? Let's learn. Setting is just awesome in this game. It's just awesome. That's why it's so tempting just to play at normal speed and just take it in. Looks like a realistic village to me. More than just about any other game I've, I've played like this. I guess where she's going to take this hide? Maybe to the storehouse way up here. Definitely don't have the most efficient road network in place yet. <clears throat> we'll work on it. As expected, or as... Uh, yeah, all the way over to that storehouse. Oh man, that's a long trek. And now going to get some meat.
Yeah, we need storage for this community. One free family. They're doing the building for us. Looks like we got some people coming here to do some work. That building looks pretty sweet with the stone. Just give me a hammer and something needs to not move. to handle the month old grey. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. Just give me a hammer and something needs to not move. I'll put it in its place. You guys just going back and forth. That one's actually not as interesting to watch. Writing on two stone. Yeah, that's the other thing. We have our stone pit. Have we done anything over here? Stone cutter camp medium. One timber's already been delivered. New mercenary companies available. All right. Hopefully we won't need to worry about those too soon. In camp, all the tents are now gone. This was our little homeless encampment. That is now gone. Granary is finished. These guys have a granary in a storehouse. These guys just have the granary. Oh, we've got the woodcutter's lodge. Let's um see if I can free up someone to work in there. Woodcutter's lodge. I've already taken the people out. Hugging camp, I think I gotta keep a family on that. Oh man, sawmill, I'd like to get people working on this too. Where can I steal people? Have to be the gatherers, right? Forger hut, let's um take people off of that. I think most important might be the saw pit. I need building materials so we can get the church built. That should provide us a long-term benefit once we get that going. Let's see. These guys over here. We're going to try and get a chicken coop going over here, but we don't have enough wealth. Not sure if we have to trade to get that wealth. What we can do. Hunters, hmm. Just let these guys go for a little bit longer. We may have to take these guys off though. Spreading people pretty thin. Uh, looks like we are out of stone. Oh man. Let's prioritize the stone building. camp is still working. We've got one family on that. Like we've got some chickens here, so that'll get us some extra food. Got a garden on this guy, which looks good. And then you guys are doing goats for a bit of extra hide. I have to see how we make use of all that hide. We're getting some from the hunting camp too. 
It uses the building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. We don't have any other regions in our command. About raid. We have corpse pit. That's for our enemies, where we bury our enemies. Church, we're kind of waiting on building materials for that. I still have zero planks. We do have a decent amount of timber. And we do have a family working in the sawmill, I think. Did we not put someone in there? Saw pit. Yeah, we do have one family working in there, so hopefully they'll hop to it. See you what they're doing. Click on here, go to people. Waiting, waiting, waiting. What do you guys need? Okay, log storage. I'm at livestock. I wonder if these guys need livestock. Oh, they probably benefit from it, but they can probably borrow our one ox. Oh man. Way to set a priority on this. Construction reserve. Reserve will never be used for crafting so that enough raw resources are left for construction. I see. Um. Yeah. Set that to 10. So if there's 10 timber or less in our settlement, I'm guessing, then these guys won't make planks out of the logs that we've got. Okay, construction finished on the stone. Resource stolen by the nearby bandits. What? All right, tell us hoping we wouldn't have to worry about those guys yet. We found a bandit camp. All right, all right, all right. Eight new units. We just don't have many people. Actually, quite a few bandits here at this <laughs> bandit camp. I don't think we can take it on yet till we grow. Disease. People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs may speed up their recovery, while a varied diet increases disease resistance. Alright, alright. Uh, where did they put us? us over here yeah I'm a little bit colorblind I can tell there's different colors here I guess this is us oh yeah glider captain nice it says it right on the map there stone cutter camp is ready let's take people off the hunting camp and put them on the stone cutter camp we need that for building materials so you guys come off you guys come in We need more families. Uh, I think the church is the next thing that could help us increase the approval and maybe get some more fa new families to move in. One's got people living in it. That one does too. And what is that one? We saw all those backyard plots being worked. What about these guys? Yeah, that's got people. You got one sick person. Fuel stall supply. Not enough fuel in the marketplace stalls. We're working on it. Just people too. Let's at this house. It's actually got the timber waiting up to a high priority. Room for at least another family to maybe join us. Are we producing planks yet? I want planks and stone. I'm feeling these guys are waiting for logs to be delivered.
or people are just waiting. Hmm, what can we do about that? Good, put the, oh, we got people already working here at the stone cutter camp. Let's go double speeds, we're not washing anything. See what these people are doing. Here we go. Okay, starting to get some stone stored. That'll help for building materials. Really showing surplus goods. Got it. That's showing the total goods. Okay, makes sense. Surplus is the stuff that has not been assigned to a construction project yet. Little dark and dreary. Yeah, as much as we need planks. These guys are just sitting here. I think they're waiting on logs. Uh, let's see. Here's our ox. Nice if they brought one over here. Can I increase the priority somehow? Plus the building. That's kind of nice. How about dropping off a log right here for these guys? These guys are waiting. Show the workplace. Reassign the family to a different workplace. Show their home. Way over here. We're gonna have to get organized on who works where. We want these families working in the local area. guys are unassigned. They could live anywhere. Guys are working at the stone cutter. That's reasonable. These guys are working. Take a family off the ox handler. And let um, everybody just kind of share it. And I'm going to put a family in this work at Woodcutter's Lodge, try and get some more firewood going. Wealth is still holding steady at 20. Sure what we can do. Tavern, it needs ale to function. Oh man. I don't think we're anywhere near being able to produce ale. Use flour to produce bread at the communal oven. That I don't think we're going to be able to do crops this first season. So we're just full at the stone cutter camp. Awesome. Could take some stone here if they want. These guys are probably gonna need a market too. Uh, let's see about that. We need to hoist this timber to the gable.
trading posts enables trading with the visiting traveling merchants, trade points and trading posts in other regions. Regional wealth is the currency used for trade. When employed, one family member travels to the nearest. Yeah, we want this. Takes four logs. What about kind of in the middle? These guys can bring their products down. These guys can bring their products down. Something like maybe there. Let's put a high priority on this guy. We got living space for eight families. Seems like, yeah. We got some vacant homes now, which is, I think, going to be a good thing. New mercenary companies available. Enables trading of live livestock with trade points and other settled regions. Feels like we need this. Let's do one of these two. The lack of more ox is uh, holding us back here. Stop it. Still has no logs. Mainly because I think they're all being used for construction projects. We have tons of stone. Let's move these guys off to something else. Maybe, do we put people on firewood over here? Yeah, that's good. We are now in October. What about putting two families on firewood? Henry, do I need to put people here? Oh man, feels like we need more people. Desperately. Yeah, more people and more animals. I'm going to take this family off of the saw pit. I guess I'll just put him in the logging camp while we're waiting. Or maybe the forester? Do we have that up yet? View. Get somebody there. Then work area. Do it right here. Boom. Tons of stone. 49 timber, 101 stone. We've got no planks. Basically nothing else. Storehouse doesn't look like it's being used. Only two hides have been brought there. And we got our pantries empty. I'm wondering if we need to assign people to this before it even gets used. Like it's set to accept everything here. Limited work area. You guys have nothing in their house. I was hoping to see some vegetables or something stored up. Livestock. Let's put that on high. The, this trading post on medium. Feeling like we need another ox station. To help move things along. A 
hitching post. One stable space, assigned families become permanent ox guides, which speed up logistics. Yeah, logistics is our issue. Big time. Plan for another little hitching post over here. I'm going to put that on high too. So in case we buy an ox, I'm guessing we probably have to have this in place. Oh man, winter is coming. Should be in decent shape with, um, with firewood, I hope. And then hopefully they can work that through the winter as well. A little nervous about food. Yeah, let's take a family off of that. And... Well, what if I put somebody on pantry? I'm just going to experiment with this and see. Love to be filling up our pantries before winter. Will these guys go fetch food? Workers collect and store and distribute goods using the pantry. If needed, they will automatically set up stalls in the marketplace to distribute the goods. Someone's just... Yeah, okay, they brought some berries over. Good. When oh, they've got a cart. But it don't... Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Okay, okay, that's a good sign for our logistics. I want to do the same thing at the storehouse. Although, I don't know what we've got stacking up. As far as like the non-perishable stuff, imagine we have hides and things somewhere. These guys have a goat shed. I'm supposed to be getting hides out of these guys. I don't see anything. at our saw pit. So I'm struggling to figure out how to get timber. Livestock trading post is one more timber. We're on double speed. Let's see where our buddy is. Up to you, fellas. Okay, there's our food situation. Boy, it doesn't look great, does it? 42 berries. And three eggs. <laughs> As we head into winter, feels like we should have more. A lot, a lot more. Okay, the forger hut's now empty. I'm going to take this family off and put them on foraging. They have done too much construction for the first year. We do have housing. We've got a lot of basic industries set up. I feel like if we can get another ox, that'll speed up building stuff. And then if we can get families assigned to our granary and families assigned to our storage houses, looks like they have carts they use and they can move a lot more products than just these people carrying like a little one little thing of water across the whole, you know, our whole region, basically. 
There's some inefficiencies, but tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. We made some progress. We got a bunch of homes built. We built the extensions on several of our homes. I think five of them now have extensions that are increasing our production of vegetables, hides, and um, chickens and eggs. We're getting eggs. You've got Forster's Hut going. Where are you? Here. In fact, we could probably take that family off. They did a good job, though. Check it out. We've got extra trees now being built or planted. We've got the sawmill built. We're still trying to figure out how to get logs into this thing. And we've got stones taken care of. Yeah, not too bad. We'll see if we make it through the winter. That'll probably be next episode. But yeah, that's it for this one. This is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Manor Lords. What an absolutely beautiful game. I love it. Yeah, that's it for this one. I want to thank Glider Cat patrons and channel members for their support. With that, I'll see you all in the next episode.